Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Aysay. I am an illustrator here at Vectorator. And today I want to show you how to draw a red panda. I've got my sketch ready which you can create based on a real life reference or you can simply use my own artwork. You can find a download link to the Vectorator file in the description box below. But before we jump in, I want to show you how to create a few gradients because they are key in making this artwork stand out. Going to create a simple brush stroke with the brush tool. Okay, now in order to give our stroke a gradient, I have to transform it into an outline shape by tapping on outline. Hope you caught the change in my shape. The pad is not going through my object, but it goes all around it. With this done, I'm going to the style tab and select the linear gradient. If you want to adjust the angle and degree of each color, all you need to do is pull or rotate the gradient handles. From here, I select the two colors that will blend into each other. I tap on the left bubble and select this orange hue. Then I tap on the right and pick my second color. Let's fly through the other gradients so we can jump straight into the illustration. All color codes are posted down below. Remember to save your gradients by tapping on any empty cell in the color palette section. Okay, now let's hide all these brush strokes and focus on the red panda. First, I'm scaling and positioning the sketch to fit my canvas while holding down one finger so proportions are locked in. Let's pick the first gradient that I created and I am going to draw half of the face with the pen tool. Starting from the middle, I tap and drag my pencil along the sketch. I decide to change my color here. And I'm also lowering the opacity of the layers so I can see my sketch a bit better. I'll continue creating the rest of the face by tapping and dragging, making sure that I close my pad by tapping the first node once again. For the rest, we simply duplicate the shape. Flip it and position it so the two parts overlap. Then select both, align them horizontally, and finally, tap on Unite from the Quick Actions menu. It's a super easy way to create any symmetrical illustrations like this. Once united, the gradient also shifted. At the moment, this is a radial gradient, but let's switch to linear, because I want the color to change from dark to light, starting from the bottom of the face to the top. Now with the pen tool again and with the lighter gradient, I'm tracing this cool pattern on the panda's face. For super deep curves like this one, I know that I need a disconnected node. So what I do here is I pick up the node tool and hold one finger on the canvas. And then I move each handle individually. That's it. For the rest of the shape, I continue with the usual asymmetrical nodes by tapping and dragging. Remember to close your pad. I see now I need to make some slight adjustments and I can do this super easily with the node tool. That's the beauty of working with vectors. You can move nodes around or adjust their handles and basically tweak them until they look the way they should. I'm personally happy with it, so I will do what I did before. Duplicate, flip, position, align, and unite the two objects. If the middle line is not perfectly straight, which in my case it was not, then the resulting shape will have these extra nodes here, where the paths are joined. I will just delete this and I'm also making some extra adjustments here and there. As for the gradient, I want the same effect as before. Light to dark, from top to bottom. So I will drag these gradients handles around. Moving on to the snout, I create an oval with the shape tool, but then I alter the shape a little bit so it looks less perfect. Finally, I adjust the gradient the same way as I did before, but this time I will make sure that the lighter color is more prominent. This is because the nose and snout are closer to us as a viewer and therefore they're brighter. These small details will bring a lot more depth to your illustration. 
After a few more adjustments, I am moving on to the face. For the eyes, I am using the darker gradient and with the shape tool again, I create one circle. Then I create a white duplicate that will be the base of the eye. Let's make the eye smaller and align it in the center. Red pandas are really cute animals, but they also have this fierce look on their face sometimes. So I would like to give mine a slightly angry expression. Just add some extra nodes along the circle pad with the node tool. And move them towards the center of the eye. Also adding a couple of white circles to mimic the light reflection. And since I want to make the eye a bit darker, I pull on the gradient handle like so. As for the second eye, you guessed it by now, we can now rely on our duplicate trick. Moving on to the nose, I will draw half of it with the pen tool. Give it the same gradient as the eyes. And then I will duplicate. I want to make the nose even darker than the eyes. So I pull on this handle pretty far away to the right. By now, you know what I'm doing. Alright, after all the hard work, it's time to see the true colors of our panda. So let me select each layer one by one and bring the opacity all the way up. At this stage, you might notice that some colors or shapes need readjusting. So tweak nodes and gradient handles until you're happy with the result. And now I'm completely done. Here's how our cute and fierce red panda turned out. Hope you guys were able to follow along and let us know in the comments below what other tutorials you would like to see from us. And I will see you in our next video. Bye bye.